In this problem, we're told a 1.8 kilogram block slides on a horizontal surface with a speed of v equals 0.8 meters per second, and an acceleration of magnitude a equals 2.8 meters per second squared, as shown in this figure. a. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface? And b. When the speed of the block slows to 0.4 meters per second, is the magnitude of the acceleration greater than, less than, or equal to 2.8 meters per second squared? And explain. So they give us this image, right? We have this block, which is going to be 1.8 kilograms. We know it's going to have a velocity of 0.8 meters per second to the right it's going to have an acceleration of 2.8 meters per second squared to the left. So that's basically what we're given, so let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the coefficient of kinetic friction, which is the variable mu sub k. So we're trying to solve for mu sub k, and how are we going to do this? So the way we're going to do it is by using Newton's second law and uh, the equation for the force of friction. So you need to know that the force of friction, I'm going to call it f sub f, is equal to mu sub k times f sub n. So basically the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force gives you the force of friction. But what we want to do is replace the force of friction with something that we actually know. And the way we're going to do this is by using Newton's second law. So we know force is equal to mass times acceleration, or the net force. But keep in mind in this problem, there's only going to be one force in the x direction. So in the direction it's traveling, the only force is going to be the force of friction slowing it down. Which means the force of friction is equal to uh, mass times acceleration. Right? You just take the sum of the forces. And keep in mind, this is negative because it's going in this direction, but the acceleration is also negative. But they basically cancel out if you just want to cross them out. So basically, the force of friction is just equal to mass times the acceleration of our object. And what we know is force of friction equals mu sub k times f sub n, and it also equals ma. So what that means, we can just say ma equals mu sub k times f sub n. And what we can do now is just divide by the normal force, f sub n, and solve for mu sub k. Because we know the mass of the object, we know the acceleration, and we also know the... Uh, normal force, right? So the normal force is just going to be equal to mg, right? Because we only have one force in the y, or I guess we have the normal force and uh, the force due to gravity, but when they're the only two forces, it's just equal to mg. So we know that it's basically going to be mass times acceleration over f sub n, which is mg. So this is going to be the formula you want to use. So mu sub k is just going to be equal to the mass, which is 1.8, times the acceleration, which is 2.8, and then over the mass, 1.8 times g, which is going to be, I'm going to estimate at 9.8. You can use 9.81 if you'd like, but just make sure you use one of them. So you just want to do this 1.8 times 2.8, and then divide by 1.8 times uh, 9.8. When you do this, you're going to get mu sub k is equal to 0.2857. So it's going to be equal to, I'm just going to round to 286. So mu sub k is equal to 0.286. Uh, yeah, and there's no units when measuring the coefficient of kinetic friction or any coefficient of friction in that matter. So it's just 2.0.286. Uh, that's going to be your answer to A. Now let's move on to B. So B is going to be asking a question, and it's not really something you have to work through. It's just something you have to think about logically. So B asks, when the speed of the block slows down to this specific velocity, 0.4, is the magnitude of the acceleration greater than, less than, or equal to 2.8 meters per second squared? So in order to understand this, you need to understand how acceleration works. So basically, because the block is only going to have the force of friction, right? That's our only force, and it's going to be in the horizontal direction. The acceleration of the block we know is dependent on this force of friction, right? Because we know the force of friction is equal to mass times acceleration. But what we know is that the force of friction is not going to be changing throughout this entire problem. Meaning, no matter what, the force of friction is the same, which also means the acceleration is going to be the same, because the mass is the same. So that means is acceleration isn't going to be changing in this problem. So when they say, when we're slowing down, right? Our acceleration will still uh, be constant. So when they say it's 0.4, our acceleration is the same throughout the problem. So it's just going to be equal to 2.8, right? It's not going to change. So your answer to B is uh, going to be greater than, less than, or equal. Your answer is going to be equal because it's not going to change. So equal to 2.8 uh, meters per second squared. And yeah, so the acceleration is going to be equal to this. And my, uh, hopefully you can just write down what I said. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer to B. Uh, this was your answer to A. Uh, a. Yeah, hopefully you found this useful.